Hello, um, it's Baldy Chris. It's slightly after eight o'clock, so I do apologise uh, for anyone who was waiting for the, the scheduled start time. Although weirdly, the Twitch profile seemed to remove um, "Let's Play Prey" from the schedule, but this is indeed what we're doing now. It is going to be episode nineteen of "Let's Play Prey," and last time around. I'd locked myself in here. I thought I had, anyway. Locked that door behind myself. Oh, we have got uh, a couple of viewers in. Uh, hello, viewers. Welcome along. Uh, make yourselves known. I suspect George is going to be one of those viewers, at least. Uh, since I just got a text off him saying, Oi, because I was ever so slightly late with getting started on the, the transmission. Hello, George. Oh, let's have an area map. I can't remember if I did this last time or not. I'll definitely take an area map. And security door. Oh, right, okay, let's just get to unlock that from behind me. Okay, so I'm at full health. Size up near the top level and suit integrity is pretty good. It's not a, a bad state of affairs for starting off with. And can't actually take that. Let's smash some of the glue just because of like random violence. We're up to three viewers. Hello, everybody. So, hello to all three of you. Oops, can I not pick that up? No, the inventory's full. I can't pick that up. And there's going to have to be a key card for this storage room. Okay, we're going to have to go delving. Uh, die less. Uh, my target is always to die less. But <laughs> uh, hello, Bob, by the way. And um, it doesn't always work out the way I planned. In fact, quite frequently doesn't work out the way I planned. But as I was just saying, um, I have at least started this episode on full health. So we'll see how long that lasts. Looks like there's stuff in the trees here, which is a little bit odd. What have we got here? Oh, the pomegranates. Uh, apparently I haven't actually got enough storage space for those. Right, okay. That's unfortunate. Inventory definitely works in strange ways. I know I don't need the, uh, the health out of the water fountain, but I'm going to drink it anyway. Good evening, Talos. Mr. Tucker from HR would like to remind you that if your personal data has changed since the previous pay cycle, please contact him immediately. Mr. Tucker's office is on the second floor of the lobby. Okay. I wonder if we've actually been up to his his office or not. Did do quite a lot of titting about uh, in the lobby area beforehand. Right, no room to take the shotgun, but I'll definitely take the ammo. That'll take some bullets. I'll take the plans to fabricate the shotgun shells, and I'm pretty sure I already had that. Okay, oh hello, what do we have here? Bleenies, I can take those. The inventory works in such weird ways. Take some more sigh as well. Right. Nothing appears to be in any immediate danger of trying to kill me. Uh, where are we? We are, um, I think, um, heading into the staff quarters. Um, having tried getting there through hull breaches in the last episode. Um, it appeared it was simply a set of stairs down from the Arboretum itself, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. Because I spent a long time <laughs> doing that spacewalk stuff, and yeah, we picked up a few bits and pieces, but I don't know that there was anything that actually forwarded the, the objectives at all. So, right, anyway, let's, let's try and get into the crew quarters. 
Uh, it does appear that I can. So yes, yes, let's travel into there. Um, I am sure. I'm sure it's going to be a long loading screen as well, so apologies for that. So apparently we're on um, three viewers altogether. Um, so I know we've got George and Bob in there. Who, who's the third viewer? Say hello, join in. Um, you know, tell us where you're from. Have you watched any of these before? Um, have you played Prey yourself before? How are you getting on with it? What do you think of the game? Just, you know, chat about any other shit. You can chat about what's in the news as well if you like. Um, there's a, a couple of things that I, I read in the news um, before I came on. Uh, one was that uh, a UK policeman has lost their job for stealing Jaffa cakes from a charity uh, stall in their canteen. They were supposed to pay uh, 50p a packet, but they paid 5p a packet. And I'd, I'd, I'd seen a preliminary story that this guy was being taken to a, a disciplinary hearing about it. Uh, and I've, I was gobsmacked by that. I'm even more gobsmacked by the fact he's actually lost his job for underpaying uh, for Jaffa Cakes at a charity stall in a police station. Obviously, it's not a nice thing to have done, but you would think for the sake of a 90 pence shortage, something could have been worked out that didn't dismiss him from his position. But there we go. I actually sent a text about it to my old manager because she used to run a, a charity stall in the office I worked in. Uh, and people were constantly leaving mm -hmm. IOU messages I uh, with puppet looking for me with black eggs behind your eyes. Come closer. Yes. A little closer. Right, I don't know what happened there, but that <laughs> stupid puppets. Definitely got me jumping. You, too? you want to come into a kitchen? Good. Come. It also threw me off my little anecdote about uh, the charity cupboard that was run in my old job. Right, I think this is a, a case to be using the stun gun, if I can work out which of these things is a stun gun. That's not it. That's it. Oh, it doesn't look very non lethal, but. Stupid beast! You think you can kill me with them? Who knows? But yes, anyway, at the old job, people left IOU notes in it all the time. Nobody got dismissed or taken to disciplinary for it, as long as they eventually paid up, which they tended to, but it could take a real long time. Uh, and it was for the same sort of trivial amounts as well. So anyway, that was in the news. There you go. Why do you obey? You can't fight the beast voice. Right, okay, so the cafeteria is an objective. Danielle's cabin. Oh, we needed Danielle's cabin, didn't we, for voice samples? Keep sending and sending. When will you stop? Stop! Can't think with all the puppet bombs. I'd quite like it if that guy bellowing, I, I think, from the cafeteria would shut up. Because it's really putting me off. Oh, Alex's room. That's for the escape pod codes. So can't get me, can you? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> if we've established any one thing in this series, it's that random noises and movements absolutely give me the heebie jeebies. So I would like there to stop being random voices. You run out of puppets, huh? Maybe you starve. robbing all the flowers. If this is your first time watching the game, the flowers can be used to make stuff in the fabricators in this game, such as ammo, med kits, that kind of thing. How many? How many bodies do we have, huh? Which 
That's why I'm methodically scouring around everything. <laughs> that doesn't look like it ended well for somebody. <laughs> oh dear, sorry Joseph. Okay, what have we got there then? Is that what's doing the mind control? Whoever you are, run! There is no more fool here except you! If you are still a hold of your brain, good! Others here? Or not? Shoot first before they get close. They're puppets! Bombs! Their master is close. Kill beast, or puppets, or both. But do it before they kill you. There are no more puppets? Maybe we talk. Yeah, no, I don't know if I managed to save that guy or not. It doesn't seem that way, because I've certainly lost health. So how does this bloody stun gun work then? Is it going to tell me? It is short range. Yeah, it's not very clear exactly how it works. Um, I've got some weapons upgrade kits, so I might actually upgrade it a little bit. Let's, uh, let's try turning the power up, I think. don't know how many. I've got three upgrade kits. Let's turn up the range as well. And the number of shots too, why not? Stuff is now after me. Stop myself, you understand? Go. Well, he certainly went down. Apparently, <laughs> decided he was going to... I think what happens with these mind control ones is that they'll blow up. So, the fact that he's missing his head, I think, means it was him that killed him himself rather than I killed him. So, I guess I'd prefer to try and let these guys live. But, on the other hand... As long as they stop being a threat to me, I can probably live with that myself. Yeah, I definitely didn't save them. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There's someone else over there as well. Who, let's be honest, is probably going to lose a head too. Let's get some stuff eaten. Since I've taken a few hits on the health there. Can I eat here? I can't eat the bullets. A pile of eel offal. Split it, or split it into what? Must be some food here. That's food, right? Yes. Let's 
to get two drunk just to free up the inventory space. Go on, get those bleenies down here. Right, there we are. You can see the screen is a little bit blurred and shaky from, <laughs> from having taken the booze on board there. Let's do a quick save. Not that I've done especially good work of of, <laughs> of saving anybody here. Bananas. Uh, oh, hang on. There we go. A telepath. Out. What do you mean out of psychoscope range? How did you know it was a telepath if it was out of range? Yeah, Right, what do I know about telepaths, if anything? Oh, I've got a well-fed status on at the minute, so I think it will slowly generate health as it is. Uh, so I don't need to take on the bananas just at the moment. In fact, my health has climbed to nearly full. Right, telepath. Weak to explosive fire and null wave. I might have some null wave stuff. One. Oh, where's it off to? Sorry dude, I did try. And let's be honest, Lisa, we know what's going to happen to you. Again, you can see I definitely tried. God, there's a lot of dead people here, isn't there? It shouldn't come as a surprise, the entire space station is filled with dead people. Right, uh, let's see if I can't try and get that null wave thing. Some vague approximation of the telepath's whereabouts. Great time to reload. So, what's that out? Bloody hell, that didn't last long. No, not that one. I'm gonna shoot it with toy things. Come back here. Really? Well, that's going to be a little difficult to kill, since uh, those were all my ranged weapons. Oh, that hasn't got any 
bloody ammo at all. Oh, wrench. Give me the wrench. Yes, I'll take a med kit before anyone says. Not that I've exactly got the guy on the ropes, but <laughs> there's also another mind control guy over there. Right, let's try gluing him and then wrenching him. Where is it now? It's over there. Please just die. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yes, uh, sorry about that, uh, Bob's your uncle. Um, that, that was not dying less than had previously been the case. Okay, let me have a little look at <laughs> some slightly better tips for how to deal with that damn thing. It's a telepath, isn't it? Explosive. Don't know that I've got any of those. Explosive fire and null wave. That was the wrong button. Completely the wrong button. Don't know if the disruptor... No, the disruptor's not going to do anything to it, is it? Um, what's that one? That's the Q-beam and that doesn't have any ammo. Got a shotgun that I can't highlight. Also needs to be loaded. Pistol, which doesn't have many rounds, and also needs to be loaded. A glue cannon, which absolutely will not kill it. What about this stuff? Could try a kinetic blast, I suppose. It does look a bit like <laughs> the a purple version of Slimer from Ghostbusters, yeah. Slimmer, you put. It's, it's, it's quite chubby, I thought. Okay, right. I will attempt to use the stun gun on some of the mind controlled guys. So I need to try scanning the actual telepath again, don't I? Wherever the hell it is. There it is. I think it's seen me. It did see me.
get back here, you bugger. That was not the cleverest of places to jump. Still, god damn it. Loading shit done again. And I suppose I need to try and scan it again since I've managed to live since scanning it. <laughs> They've seen me. Yeah, I suppose a save at this point is not a bad idea. However minute the progression is, just, just reloading weapons, yeah. Right, where is the uh, big dangler? There he is. There you go, saved. Bob's your uncle indeed. See if I manage to actually rescue anybody who's under mind control. She's not dead! <laughs> Amazing. Right, I might try using a Typhon Lure on the telepath itself. See if that kind of pins it in place at all. attacking me. Okay, still on full health. See, I do check these things occasionally. Oh, fuck's sakes, out of bloody ammo, isn't it? What about the pistol? Pistol's out as well. And let's just go wrench mad. And let's 
try the kinetic glass as well. Did that get it? Fucking hell. Oh. Now you join them. You. Come to kitchen window. Let me see you. Um, I will come round to the kitchen window, but of course in the meantime I will try and beef myself up a little bit. So, we've got stuff I can eat. We'll have a, a lemon. We'll have the bananas. We'll have some glucosist as well. Veggie blend, which doesn't sound all that appetising if I'm honest. Got two statuses in place at the minute, I don't know what they are. Oh, suit damage, that's not a great one to have. However, I think I've got suit repair kits. I do, let's use one of those. That's not so bad. I don't need a side just yet. There, I think I'll save that one. And hopefully be able to scour the place for good stuff. Because who doesn't like getting good stuff? Although... It's, oh, there's a survivor down here. Or is that that Lisa? No, I've not been through here just yet. Okay, I'll scour around here. <laughs> Colette didn't fare so well, did she? Just help yourself to the buffet. Well, yeah, we did we did manage to at least save Lisa, if nobody else. Some of them were already dead. They weren't all my fault. Oh, that must be the remnants of the telepath. Okay. Oh, that, that's definitely remnants of the telepath. Ugly looking bastard, isn't it? Yeah, I'll definitely take a banana out of the bin. That seems healthy, right? Did I search this one this time round? I did, apparently. the counter. I don't think I've actually been here yet. No? Okay. I don't think there was much upstairs unless anyone tells me different in the chat comments. Oh, hello. Kind of expected that to just stay shut. that there is a corrosive pipe there. I'm guessing if you shoot through that, it sprays corrosive shit out, which might be a viable attack move. Okay, no keycard. Well, the chef wanted me to go to the window, didn't they? More bodies, where's that? Upstairs? I, th I thought I'd checked everything. I'll have a quick squiz round. Oh no, you're right, thank you Bob. 
few bits and pieces. Surely I couldn't get up there. No, surely I couldn't. Okay, and never really got much of a look around this part. This place is a tip. I've been to travel lodges that have been better maintained than this. Suit. What is in your name tag? You? Um, am you? Am you? You killed this yourself. Ah. If you want to come in, be safe. You go. Get something of mine, huh? Here, key. It opens my room. Go there. Get my award. It's important to me. Then, maybe we talk. Yeah, okay, sure, why not? Got nothing better to do after all. Okay. So, um, I think it would be best to go to Danielle's cabin first, out of the objections over here. Uh, happy to take suggestions. What, what about Lisa? The, this unconscious bird over here. I don't know if I've got any way of waking her up. I could just, I could take her with me. In, in an entirely dignified fashion, of course. And I certainly wouldn't be looking at a crotch on a live stream. I definitely wouldn't do that. Um, no, I don't think there's anything I can do with her other than just let her come round of her in the fullness of time. I don't know. I might be wrong. But yeah, I think I'm going to go check out Danielle's cabin and try and get voice samples in order to be able to access the... it was the, the deep storage area, wasn't it? Oh, we've got somebody else who's mind controlled over here. I think he's seen me. What the fuck's mind controlling in there? Yeah. But yeah, that does kind of imply that there must be another telepath around the place. Which would be fun. What with me having absolutely jack shit to attack it with. Oh, the executive suites was the bit affected by the hull breach, wasn't it? So we must have been on the outside of that before. Oh, there's somebody in here. There, that's a much more fitting place for you to 
to be re remembered and respected. Dan, Don, whatever your name is, Don. Transgressions, me robbing the dead. Oh, stuff. And it's hackable. So let's hack it. Scan it first, of course. I think it's safe. Famous last words. Oh, got some ammo, thank God for that. Might have been a good idea to have stopped off here on the way in to take on the telepath, some might say. Whole bunch of neuromods, nice. Oh, medikit fabrication plan. Oh no, I can already make medikits. A neuromod fabrication plan would be good though. do at all. Put that gun away. Just smashing stuff up in the hope that there might be stuff behind it or that kind of thing. There wasn't, but, you know, smashing stuff up's good anyway. And let's have a look at the machine. See what we've got in here. Argentina Spiro seems to be a bit of a fuss pot. <laughs> Flat piss. Okay, well we can get into the gym at least, that's nice. And there's some utilities on here as well. What do they do? Oh, yeah, we'll have a map. Oh, there's a fabricator in the kitchen. That's the one place I can't actually get in at the minute until I go and get some award from the chef's room. It's quite a big area, isn't it? There's definitely going to be stuff in there that wants to kill me. <laughs> I think we can take that as red. The yellow tulip, was that a bar or something? In a theatre, la -de bloody da Okay.
Pretty sure we came across Annalise Gallegos quite a few episodes back. So it looks like finding William Mitchell or Quinton Purvis might be a good idea. And technically this machine will actually show me where they are. Well, Will Mitchell is dead apparently, but he's somewhere in the crew quarters. Okay. Right. Um, do a quick save there since we've just picked up loads of stuff. I'm sort of wondering whether to actually go to the cook's room so I can go use a fabricator in the kitchen rather than Danielle's cabin. Anyone got any uh, preferences one way or the other? Don't worry about power flickering. Station is just hurting. Keep going. So I'm pretty sure that thing said Will Mitchell had no life signs, so I don't know how he's speaking. I think I'll leave Oliver in there. I know I've got the code for it. Oh, we've got a little crawl space down here. Which can't do anything to move at the moment. Unless I lob stuff at it. seem to have any noticeable effect. Still no noticeable effect. Right, how many neuro mods have I got? Got five. Not quite enough to do the third level of leverage. I don't know if that's the most effective use of mods anyway. Although there has been annoyingly lots of stuff that have needed level 3 leverage. There's nothing I can explode around here, is there? No, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to try to get into the cook's cabin then. Tell you what, a Mastercard would be brilliant for this little lot, wouldn't it? Oh, something down there. Okay, immune to electric and stun, weak to EMP, null wave and psychic. Most of which I don't think I've actually got a great deal of anyway. Oh, 
is this fucking shotgun not loaded? Gotcha, you bugger. Okay. Mind-controlled things in there. Stop! Run from me! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Yeah, I'm not going in there just yet. Right, uh, I think it is time to do some more topping up on uh, the old health front. deals. Yunagi, there's one for the, the Friends fans. Or was, was that something? There was something Ross shouted, it sounded like Yunagi. a lot of suit repair kits I've got. Right. Um, I think I have seen a Voltaic Phantom before. But, um, yeah, it, it went down with a conventional weapon relatively quickly, which I was grateful for. some water as well. I think we're going to be fairly well on our way to full health in a minute. Bit lost as to exactly where the chef's room is. Is that it? I could get through there if I mimicked something small. see anything small to mimic of course but or, or I suppose I could just walk through from the other side that would be even easier I'm aware the cook's rooms behind me but pile of towels then. Oh, no, it's a buckety thing. Oh, oh that was a shotgun, <laughs> not a glue gun. Very effective, very wasteful. Stop it with the random noises. Poltergeist. Don't know that I like that. Um, I think most of the rooms are locked off. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do much with that. Right, let's... whoops. Don't actually particularly want to save there. What I did want to do was see what, if anything, I know about uh, poltergeists. They're weak to fire and have no immunity. Right, okay. I haven't got anything that can do fire. What's 
them back at it. Where is the damn thing? It's here somewhere, I know it is. I think I might have got it there. In which case, I think there is a good point for a quick save. Right, uh, was there anything good in these dunnies that wasn't going to just, you know, hurl me around the place? Ah, secret stash of booze from the bog. Everybody's favourite. nice if there was a trophy for flushing a certain number of, uh, of labs in this game, wouldn't it? Okay, well I'm down to virtually no ammo yet again. And where I said I could just walk through from the other side, turns out that doesn't appear to be quite survivable, so... Something small. Can I pick it up? Um, how, how do you pick things up? Like that. Could I mimic that, do you think? Or is there something... Oh, I could mimic a bog roll, that'd be the the best way to get into a room ever, is impersonating toilet paper. Okay, uh, right, hopefully you're all back with me again. Um, my controller battery died there, which is odd because I was actually sat physically plugged in uh, on a USB, so there's really no way it should have happened, but I've switched over to a second controller. Uh, hopefully that'll last a little bit better. Well, last to the end of this episode at least. Ha! Attack of the killer bog roll.
Alrighty ho. Um, shiny as hell but it can't pick it up or interact with it which is a bit peculiar some nice ink blots oh Annalise you hussy That's at all significant. Right. I was so excited about getting in there as well, but oh, we've got something there. Some more sigh. Didn't actually seem to be terribly much worth having in here. Okay, anyway, we can uh, impersonate a mug to get out. Haha! -ha. Right, that cabin looks like it's available to us for Dr. Igwe. I know his name's come up before, his or her name? And this is the chef's cabin. Let's go cautious just in case. Right, well, it doesn't appear to be anything that's on the verge of killing me. his own weed, doesn't it? Right, okay. What the hell did you do to that thing, Mitchell? Sounds like an anti-waffle commercial. Well, I didn't see it as an override, per se. It was just the operator's conversation sequencer. They're usually so grim. Do you know how many security protocols you broke? Well, Morgan said it was all right. Even helped me. I'm Operator Skillet, Miss Show. My, you sound like you could use a healthy dose of sunburst banana pudding. <clears throat> this is an A-B conversation, Skillet. Apologies, Chef. I'll see my way out. Oh, somehow I actually got a voice sample um, from that. I didn't realise that Danielle was one of them. Backstabbed in the face. Yeah, I think there is a trophy for finding all of the Starbender books in the game. I suspect I'm not going to find them all. Okay. 
Okay, um, it looks like a bit of Pulp Fiction. I'm not going to leave it up there. Um, there's the award that we're after. But obviously I'm going to have a pry round on his computer as well. Okay. Right, do you think I should have a bit more of a prowl around this place? Or we'll go back and see the cook. Alright, have a look in Iggy's um Iggy's room. Yes, uh, it was an either or question, Bob. I can't, I can't take yes as an answer to that. I'll have the vodka though. We'll have that away for sure. Right, nothing appears to be ready to kill me just yet. So I'll have a bit of a, a pry around Iggy's room. Oh, a neuro mod having it. Also got um, a chip set there. Okay, Iggy's computer is showing an error, but apparently I can hack it, so I'll try that. Just seeing if there's anything else worth robbing in his place. No, and well, unless he's hidden anything up there, I think we've got all the good shit out of here. Um, I've got another neuro mod, so I think I'm gonna stick in the additional leverage just I'm getting really tired of not being able to move some bits and pieces out of the way I know it isn't necessarily the most valuable upgrade but I'm doing it gleaned from that. Um, don't know if I've got one of those already or not, but I'll take a, a Psy fabrication plan, why not? But still, more than anything else, really would like um, a neuro mod fabrication plan, I think that would be tip top. Well, apparently, I can get in there. That was unexpected. Ok, 
Okay. Seems clean enough. Typhon Lure, absolutely. Definitely wanted me to have the Psy Fabrication Plants. Mmm, Veggie Blend. Mmm. Don't want to know what this guy was up to on his bed there. Particularly useful. What the fuck is all that shit? <laughs> An eel prototype. So I don't have the keycard for that. Or that. But, finally, I can move that damn thing out of the way. Turns out you can throw it a hell of a distance as well. A little perv hole to to watch people. Why can't I get in there? Come on! Oh, I can get in there. Just somehow was doing it wrong. I don't really understand how. That bit I do need to smash. Okay. Right, what good stuff have you got worth nicking? Oh dear, the dog didn't make it. Oh, hello. Uh, well, we'll take the ammo for sure. In fact, we'll take the shotgun itself. I can always recycle it. Since I can hack you, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try anyway. That's a long old route. Oh... 
not going to stop me trying again. Slightly less convoluted route. There we are, much better. The incident. Chair moved by itself. Yeah, I've seen a few of them. Uh, Elias, you might have a point. They don't like this Dr. Gallegos, do they? Okay, and um, what file do you have? Uh, yeah, I think I like the sound of that. So, if I could fabricate weapon upgrade kits, does that mean I could just really go to town on upgrading? everything I have. Subject to having enough material to make the upgrade kits, of course. And the gunmanship abilities, which I've not been installing with the Neuro mods because I've been too busy getting leverage. But it was quite a handy little getting in there, wasn't it? Right, I'm going to leave the other half of the crew cabins for now. And go and see the the cook because I've got the thing that he wanted. You You're still alive? I am still huh? alive, amazingly. Huh. What if MU comes back? Let MU in? But I'm not actually gonna go up here, I'm just unlocking it. There we go. Hopefully, nothing has respawned behind my back, which typically this place has got a nasty habit of doing. Gillian. You find it? You back? Come to window. Show me. Stunned. Ah. Looks like it might be a kind of cumulative deal. Right, okay. That's probably not helped with any of the attempted stunnings that I've done before. But yeah, uh, I don't think it was the, the headshots that were the problem, uh, Bob. I think it was um, that their heads explode is their attack while they're under mind control. So I think it is probably coincidental that their heads blew off and nothing to do with me aiming at their heads. Probably. Right, give award uh, for, the, for the best staying in the kitchen. You found something? Hmm. Have to let you in. <laughs> Promised. You did promise me that. Go around. The side entrance. Uh, okay, and yeah, I'll have a check on Lisa. I suspect she's probably still just lying unconscious, but we'll have a check. Yeah, just daydreaming. A lazy cow. Alright, let's 
go get into the uh, the kitchen and I'll try to fabricate as much stuff as I can get away with. At which point I think it's probably a decent point to to end the episode. So yeah, you are safe now. The beasts they cannot get in. But look at this. We have food, but no water. This pressure regulator, it is broken. System automatic cut off until fixed. You can find a replacement part in greenhouse, I think. With water, we can wait for rescue. No water? Huh. Do this favor, I'll let you into freezer. That's where I hid all the puppets the beasts sent first. Maybe they have useful things for you, no? The chef has hidden a load of bodies in the freezer. What a fucking freak. Oh, that's what huh? skillet is, is it? And you. And you. Hmm. I already hear this name before. Skillet, you look a lot like an operator. Where? Can you fix me in some way, like the operators do? Okay, I will not be activating the turret. Quiet now. You know eggs behind your eyes? No black swimming? Hmm. Others come, track to a human. Right, let me just go get me to open the, the fabricator. Actually, a recycler would be useful, wouldn't it? Why have you only got a fabricator and not a recycler? That's frankly useless, mate. When puppets can get in, explode like bombs. Wow. The beast lays eggs in their head, make them explode. Outrageous. Running out of bodies. See, in fact, in fact food. everything is labelled in red. Once, you can Don't have much again. to make a lot of shit with, unfortunately. Who knew? I mean, I've been picking up everything religiously. There's no way I'm not taking recycler charges, so I'll have to find something to drop for that. Are you me. frightened of the puppets? Are you? You're cowering in the kitchen. Huh? And you. And you. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to drop something out of the inventory in order to... be able to pick up that menu item. Menu item? Um, you know what I mean. This thing here. 
You fix? Mm, smart one. Here, I open freezer now, like I promised. Lots of dead puppets and supplies. Tempted just to off this guy, I'll be honest. to have been quite a poor idea. Can't piece of junk. Are you awake, am you? Frozen dead, maybe? I take Puppet's toy screen. I see all the names in the list. Your name, too. Means you listen from now on. I know who you are. Am you. Son of William you. William, Transtar, always playing with lives. Now, maybe I watch these beasts eat you, like you tried to feed me to them. Or, cold kills you first, make you into a frozen puppet. What a fucking charmer. Escape the freezer. Okay, that definitely seems like a plan. Don't really know how to go about doing it, but uh, could open that, of course. Abby, I'm still in deep storage. I don't know why you won't pick up. I hope you're safe. If things get bad, I'll jettison a data vault and spacewalk along the hull. Come to the fitness center and bang on the window by the pool. I should feel the vibration. And Abby, please don't take any chances, all right? I... Be safe. Right, where is that fucking chef prick? <laughs> I said I was considering offing just because he was annoying in the first place. disappointed that he isn't here for me to give a very sound twatting to uh, but since we have just completed an objective and I said I'd end the episode at the point I got into the kitchen and cleared things out a little bit it's, it's disappointing there wasn't a, a recycler as well as the fabricator because then I could really get my inventory in order um, but yeah that will be the end of this particular episode uh, so thank you all for watching, it's been several of you throughout, um, so thanks for your time. Uh, if you haven't already done so, no, a couple of you have, um, then you can give me a follow on Twitch, that would be very helpful. Um, or you can uh, look me up on YouTube as well, where there's a whole bunch of content there under the username Baldy Chris. Is that one of these uh, little safes? Apparently not. Um, yeah, so, you know, follow me on Twitch or look me up on YouTube and uh, keep up to date with all the content, catch up with previous episodes in Let's Play Prey if you haven't been here from the beginning. Um, but that's it for now, so take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Alright, bye bye! <laughs>